Let's get started. Welcome to the stream, everybody. My name is Green Leader, and today we're getting back into some Dragon Age Origins. I think we're getting actually pretty close to the end. Uh, the last time I played this was uh, not last week, but the week before. Uh, we had just finished up the quest line with the Dalish, where we had essentially cured all the werewolves. We had destroyed the curse. But we had lost, uh, we had lost the guy who was essentially leading the Dalish. I don't know if it's Dalish or Dalish. I don't know. Uh, but they're they're the they're essentially the elves, the the wood elves that have been roaming around <clears throat> for Elden for the last you know thousand plus years. Um, so we were able to remove the curse. Unfortunately, at the loss of uh, the, the the elvish leader, but it was the only real way to really release said curse. Uh, and it helped to cure all the werewolves who were currently there. So all those people are, are cured, including the uh, the Ferelden people who had been cursed, as well as the Dalish who were cursed as well. So now that everybody has been released of the curse, I think the last thing I remember was I was right at the end of at the edge of the ruins, and I was heading back out into the Enchanted Forest, whatever it's called. I forget what it's actually called. Uh, Brazilian Forest, I think is what it is. So that's what we were doing. And uh, the reason why I'm having a little bit of a hard time remembering is because last week we were actually playing some Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. We were actually able to finish the full game. It's really good. I recommend if you guys uh, wanted to go check it out, you guys should definitely do that. Uh, it is... All the VODs are actually available. You can go check it out at my channel. Um, here's the link to it. I believe I also have a link down in the description below. If you want to go and check out those VODs, you really should. And uh, I do try and put up all my VODs there as well. Anywho, um, before we get into it, I do just want to quickly say that I'm going to be keep I'm going to keep going with Dragon Age Origins. I think I'm getting close to finishing it. We might finish it this week. We might not. But starting next week, we are going to be switching back and forth between. Uh, Dragon Age Origins, and the next game on my list, which is Red Dead Redemption 2. So we'll be going back and forth. So this week we'll do Dragon Age Origins. Next week will be Red Dead Redemption 2. And we'll switch back and forth until Dragon Age is done. Once Dragon Age is done, I'll be focusing purely on Red Dead Redemption 2 at that point. And when we start getting close to the end of that game, I'll start switching back and forth with the next game in in my uh, in my list of games to play, which will be... I think it's that. No, it's Nino Kuni. Nino Kuni is after Red Dead Redemption. So, yeah. So, that said, I think I got everything out that I wanted to talk about first. Which I think so. Huzzah. Let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, let's go ahead and just load up the game. Just hit resume. And uh, make sure I've got the next scene ready as well, because I don't want to forget about that. I've done that before. There we go. Okay, we are here. That's right. Edge of the Ruins. Um, would be nice if I could come back uh, with somebody who's actually half decent. Uh, with the, uh, the lockpicking, because then I could actually, you know, yes, get everything that I need. But, we'll see. We're gonna head out. Let me see. If I remember correctly, this was the way out. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Brazilian Forest. And we are heading... Back to... Can I fast travel there? No, I cannot. Can I go there? Fight along the way? Let's see what happens here. Ha! Let's wipe them out quickly. Shit, another bandit storm. Okay, um... You must fight him. Where to? You must... Wait a second. Uh, I'll also yes. go and fight him. Morgan, if you wouldn't mind hitting those jackasses with something... Preferably something uh, debilitating and hurtful. Eh, we can do win Winter's Grasp up there. Um, Sten, I think I already told you what to do. 
And you know, let's just this won't take long. Have the, the other three focus on that guy, and then we can move up. Oh, fuck it. Yeah. That guy is not dead. Um, I don't even know what the hell hit us, man. What? All right. Fuck, they're rushed down. This is not fair. That always means Fuck, I'm dead. Okay. Yes. Here's what I'm gonna do. Morgan, um, cone of coal, please, and not hit. There we go. No mercy. Uh, I'm gonna hit uh, mind blast. I think one bandit is down. Yes. Well, this is actually pretty horrible, to be honest. You are arcane blast in this guy. You will learn to fear me. Um. Perfect timing on that. I shall do it. That's what happens when I don't actually play this game for a while. Um, and then we're gonna do arcane blast in this jackass again. She's nearly dead. Now nah, she's dead. Shit. To say the least. Shite. Well, you might even add. We're gonna load that last save and try again. Oh man, that fight was uh, kind of stupid the way I handled it. This is just what happens when I don't play this game. I get out of out of sync. I forget how to play. I do stupid shit. So we're gonna we're gonna try this again. Another fight, most likely bandits. Time for more practice. Yep, 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 yep. I am ready. You! Go fuck up there and kick their ass, please. You have poison making? You do have poison making. Um poison. Extracts. Venom. Coating. Shit bags. Okay, uh, please go kill that bandit guy up there, please. That would be mucho goodo. Uh, and then... Okay. That's one Morgan. Uh, I'm gonna have you hit that guy with... So what does this actually do? Caster forces a target to cower in fear, unable to move unless it passes a check. Target's already asleep. Well, uh, when the spell is cast, cannot resist. Uh, caster engages subtle mental manipulation that distorts the target for a short time, making the target less effective combat by inflicting... That's actually kind of cool. Uh, weakness. Caster... Drains a target of energy, inflicting penalties to attack. Defense as well as reducing movement speed. I think we'll do disorient on that guy. Uh, I need you to focus that guy, and then I will also be helping you with that. Um, let's go to sustain, and I will also put threaten on me. And I forget which one's actually the better to use. Because this one does shield cover. Uh, on this mode, uh, the warrior's shield provides a greater chance of deflecting missile attacks. That's pretty decent. There's that one, and then there's, like, this. Yeah, no, that is it. Okay. Dude, if you could not die, that would be damn great. Same thing with you. But you know what? You use one, and you use one. Here I am. 
shit bags. down. Go. Indeed go. Please, get up there and go deal with that guy. Not now. Right. right now. Right this freaking second. Go, 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 go. Where do I go? You. Hmm. Stop being stunned. I shall do it. I need you to freeze that jackass, please. Okay, please heal. You as well, please heal. You as well heal. I need healing. You're healed. I am ready. Why aren't you healing? What are you doing, sir? In fact, you know what? We're gonna do uh venom. Do venom. Okay, get up there and go attack go. that guy right now. As for you, you're doing good. As you like. I actually resisted you, son of a bitch. There we go. That was kind of shitty. Oh, and there's a trap here. Very horrendous. Um, let's take that. Take that. An injury kit, which will kind of make up for the fact that I uh, got injured. Let's do this. Um, lesser injury kit. Thank yes. you very much. Anybody else needs it? No, no, and no. Say what you must. Huzzah. And it'll level up quickly, shall we? There we go. Okay. We'll level him up first. You know, I'm just gonna auto level him. I'm gonna auto level her as well, just because there's no skills that I can get. Hey, Tunda Key, how's it going, man? Hope you're doing well. What you been up to? How's your How's your Monday treating you? And then let's level up Sten. Let me just make sure my micro my microphone is in fact on. Uh, and he also doesn't have any skills, so we'll just auto level. Doing well, just uh, lounging before bed. Nice, very nice, nothing wrong with that. How was your weekend, by the way? Hope you had a good weekend. Can we go this way? We can go that way. Let me just double check if there isn't. I'm not forgetting anything. Nope, that is nope. But we head out. Continue on back to the Priscillian Forest. Now he wants me to kill the tree. I didn't want to kill the tree, so I'm not going to. Screw that old crazy guy. Um Daft. Turn that off, turn that off. We don't we don't need him wasting willpower.
We'll just check and see if anything else is here. But the werewolves gone. Oh, I shouldn't be finding any other werewolves at all. The the enemies should now be like bears and bears and other things. Maybe some mystical trees that are assholes type of thing. But beyond that, I shouldn't have any werewolves to deal with. It was fun Sunday. I, I uh, shot a 1911. Oh wait, a 1911 22 long rifle. That's crazy. Heavy gun, but accurate. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, it's it's shooting a 22 long rifle. That's teeny compared to what it normally shoots. I mean, that's like crazy. Like, you don't need nearly as much powder. And it's, it's such a small projectile, you're not going to get much recoil at done. all. The essence of the wolf's heart has banished all traces of cursed blood from the hunters. Is that? It's too bad that Zathrian had to die. I... I felt it when he departed. I think he was ready to go. He was a hero in the end. L Lanaya? Lanaya? Lanaya. Lanaya. There we go. Okay. Here we go. We're going to try this again. He was a hero in the end, Lanaya. It will be difficult to fill Zathrian's shoes. He was our keeper for many centuries. And I'm sorry about the Irish accent. Missed. It's a bad Irish accent. But I, know, I am but... keeper now. Let me say it officially yeah. then. I hereby swear to uphold the terms of the ancient contract our people formed with the Grey Wardens. Huzzah! And we shall come with great speed and purpose. And we shall strike at your foes. This I swear. Huzzah! I thank you, uh, Linnea. It has been a long time since the Dalish march to war, but I trust that in the end, we shall make a difference for you. I, I believe so. Poacher. I do love the old. I actually prefer. You know what's weird? I actually kind of like the old school Xbox 360 interface. I don't know why. Like it's so bare bones, but. Because of that, it's so much easier to use. Sided with the elves in nature of the... Of course I'm going to side with the elves in nature of the beast. What was the other option? Siding with the werewolves? I sided with the werewolves too. I sided with them both. Oh yeah, I still can't access the landmarks. There's reasons. Uh, yeah, it was weird. I'm um, used to the 45 ACP ammo. Yeah. Although, you know what? I gotta say... Uh, so like, I have I, I haven't shot a proper 1911. I shot six sour a, a six sour uh. It was a six sour 45 ACP, and it was built to look very similar to a 40 a, a, a 1911. Not exactly, but very similar. And that gun shoots so beautifully, and extremely accurate. It's wonderful. It is such a great gun to shoot, and. Uh, yeah, so I, I think it's just the design. I think it's just the design of that gun and the way the way it's handled. So you just you chamber it in a smaller. It's a metal frame. It's a it's a it's a bit of an older. It's from like a decade ago, if not if not older than that. Right. Um. I pro yeah, probably older than that. At the very least, so I don't. It's it's a it's a full on metal frame with the handle. Looks very similar to a 1911, but I know it's not a 1911. If that makes sense, Sig Sauer. I'm gonna look it up now. I wonder if it's. I wonder if it's the P220. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's it. It's the Sig Sauer P220 45 ACP. So, I, uh, yeah. It's a metal frame. Wood hand. In fact, this one has a wood handle, but mine does not. The, the, the one that I fired did not have a wood frame. But it's a very cool gun. And, uh, it's looks like a, uh, a 1911. It kind of feels like it's got that same feel to it, so. This 22 LR 1911 was a SIG too. Nice. Very nice. Dude, I mean, SIG makes good guns. They make some really dumb mistakes. Uh, you know, they make some really poor d decisions, but their guns are great. I've yet to really be disappointed by most of their guns, so. Let me put it that way. What the fuck? 
Oh, it's one of these dogs. To I wonder if I can come back here with my uh, with my dog. See what he'll, how he will respond to that. B220 looks awesome because it is awesome. It is fantastic. Uh, if you're looking to pick up a 45 ACP firearm, the Sig P220 is not a bad choice at all. It is fact, in fact, in my opinion, quite a good choice to make. So. Now and that no. the forest is clear, I am free to hunt a pelt of And unfortunately, no, I'm not sponsored by Sig. I wish that'd be great. Now that the forest is clear, I am free to hunt a pelt of my own. Then Gaina will be mine. Dude, go do it. It should be easy peasy for you, man. Go. Get a pelt. Make her yours. You're, you will no longer be a pre an apprentice. Get to it, dude. Stop wasting your time. You. We owe you thanks for all you've done. Yeah, Without you do. Without you, our clan would be grieving the loss of many more hunters now. Yep. You're welcome. I'm amazing, aren't I? Elf woman, elf child. Uh, let's see if there's any other named characters we can talk to. Potentially harass. Let's let's see. Elf child. No, I don't want to talk to Sen and won't even identify her. Hunter. What do you gotta say? Anathara, Grey Ward. Alrighty then. We'll talk to Serral. Serral was real bitchy earlier. Hello. You did it, outsider. You saved us from the ravages of the curse, after all. Indeed. May the creators bless you, truly. But Zathrian is lost to us, after all these centuries. It's fine, he was a bit he of a bitch. He died heroically, I hope. You know, kind of. If I didn't have to fight him, it would have been better. But you know what? I don't want to... I don't want to tear these poor people's imagery of their old leader, so we'll just say yes. I believe he did. I would like a happy ending to his tale. He will be a role model for many Dalish children to come. And now, Keeper Lanaya prepares for us to enter into war alongside the humans. I never thought I'd live to see them. Alongside death. me, you I jackass. I look forward to fighting against these darkspawn creatures. Do you now? Let's hope you return and tell us all about them. As for you, outsider, I expect I'll be telling tales about the Grey Warden one day, hmm? I would hope so. Something tells me you'll be real bitchy about it. Do you have anything to say? No. Do you have anything to the say? The hunters are recovering quickly. This is a most joyous day. That's good. By the way, so Tundaki, what was that... What was that sig? So, you said it was a sig... Because hmm. I'm always curious about... Hey, I, you know what's funny enough? I've actually never shot a 22 long rifle. It's teeny. Maybe maybe it's because I have a little bit of a disrespect for it. I don't know. Uh, but, I mean, it's because it's, it's such a teeny... Such a teeny little, uh, little round. But, I mean, not bad. Uh, you know? It's just, it's just literally a six hour 1911. It's so interesting that they're not calling it. I wonder why they had the P-22. Sorry, the P-220. Because it's literally built just like a... Just like a uh, 1911, except the that little back thing where your hand, the, you know, where your hand goes into isn't quite as pronounced as their 1911. But I, I did look it up. It's like six hour, 1911. 22 long rifle. Very cool. Very cool gun. Okay. Um, I don't know if there's anybody else we can talk to. Hello. Greetings to you, friend. I understand I have you to thank for my rescue from the forest. Oh, it's you. How are you doing? Hey, that was me. I don't want your efforts to go unrewarded. Here is a gem I traded for when I was amongst the outsiders. I thought to make a necklace out of it for my bride, but I want you to have it. I know it is of worth. Thank you. That is most kind. Then take it with the blessings of the gods, I hope. And now, I am afraid I must rest. The Keeper says I am not yet fully recovered, after all. 
I wish Dade. you well, my friend. Can I open this? Can't open it. Not that I really got anything major from it. Been too long. Rifle is fun. I bought a cheaper semi Taurus. Taurus is actually, you know, what's interesting. Taurus has had some. I've I've got mixed opinions. My dad used to own a Taurus back in the day. He owned like a Taurus uh, revolver. Um, but then I've also heard other people report that Tauruses are bad. I mean, I don't know. It's it's had some like mixed reviews. But like from my own personal experience, which really isn't that much, but. Okay, from my father's perspective, Taurus is a pretty good brand. So there you go. Uh, Taurus TX-22 for planking, range gun, cheap ammo and fun. Plus, I always start with uh, with that gun for new shooters. And that makes sense, right? Because the 22 long rifle, easier, easier to handle, less uh, 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 recoil to deal with. Gives people a, a nice, fun, easy experience to be able to go out for their first time shooting. That makes a lot of sense. Our hunters have been cured. We shall be forever grateful to you, Grey Warden. Indeed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Eldest of the Sun. What the hell is that? This carved head represents something or other. Damn it. Death root. Very nice. Taurus is just cheap unless you get the higher end ones. I also have a Taurus 856 38 special uh, for one of my one of my carries. Nice, that's very cool. Yeah, I didn't realize it was cheap per se, but uh, that is interesting. This sword looks pretty damn decent. Never mind. Oh, it's a dagger. It's a dagger. Okay. Um, let's compare with what. Zev has two. He's got a long sword and a saw sword. I take it back. My Taurus is nowhere uh, near my Colt King Cobra. What is it? Okay, I'm not familiar with that. What is a Colt King? Sorry, you're sending me out down all these gun rabbit holes, and I love it. Uh, a Colt. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. This, in fact, the one I'm looking at, there's a couple here, but one's got, like, a little snub nose. It's a little snub nose Colt King Cobra, which is kind of interesting. But the rest seem to be, like, uh... Six-inch barrels? Yeah, yeah, I think, I think they're, like, six to eight-inch barrels. I don't know. Pretty long, but very cool. Colt King is 357. Oh, four and a quarter-inch barrel. Nice, nice, very nice. I actually like the the three five seven, the great round. Takes a bit, but I mean it's it's nice. It's very nice. I like it. Yes, they do. Correct. Yep. I know my dad when he was when he first got into his uh, sort of gun buying craze. That was one of the ones that he got for that reason. He got a, a three five seven just because it also sh shoots the 38 special. And he was like, yes! We're going to be able to get two different types of ammo for this. I'm like, yeah, that's 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 great. We, never, we rarely shoot it because that thing kicks like a son of a bitch. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty great. Can I, can I get this now? Will she... Just saw. A leather-bound book entitled In Uthanara. Uthanera. I shall take it. Is mine. I'll talk to her again. Let us pray to the creators, Letheline. All Father, may you forgive our part in this tragedy. Would our sons and daughters have I didn't died? She was actually not going to pray. Pride. Okay. Falandine, friend of the dead, may you guide our sons and daughters safely into the beyond. And most of all, he who hunts alone, the dread wolf, he will come for us in the end, but today. He turned a blind eye, and for that, we are thankful. For we are the Dalish, the keepers of the lost lore, the walkers of the lonely path, and never again shall we submit. Very nice. My uncle has a six-inch Colt King Cobra from 1984, and my brother has a six-inch 
Bolt Python. Uh, we all have snake guns now. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Does, does Colt just name all their revolvers uh, snake guns? Because that would be actually kind of funny if they did. Okay, we are actually going to head out. I do want to head to back to camp. Because I'd like to see if there is a... Oh, I'd also like to grab a couple things here. Let me get the elf root. You can get that elf root. There we go. We're going to... See if she has anything to say. I understand we will be joining you in battle as soon as the hunters have recovered. I. I look forward to it. As do I. Oh, I didn't see this guy. The god of craft. Carved wooden head represents June, the elven god of craftsmanship. Fascinating. Let's see if she has anything else to say. We are making nope. arrangements to build equipment and gather as many. Very nice. Okay. Uh, can I travel from here? I can travel here? Kind of? Maybe? Yes? No? Cheese Whiz? Yes, Cheese Whiz is it. Cheese Whiz is it! Okay, we're here. Um, I was wanting to just quickly see if anybody else had survival skills. I believe... Or survival or... Herbalist? That's herbalism, that's not survival. Uh, that is Alistair. No. No, well, okay, so let's see if anybody else can actually level up now. Also, my phone went off. Something, something, something. No, just ring and nonsense like that. Okay. Um. Okay, so there's me, Morgan. Stan. Dev. I don't know why details. Oh, as in that's the. He's got a. He's got an effect from all of his items. Like, yep. Okay, so Alistair can level up. Please tell me. He... No, he cannot. If I were to guess, it's gonna put two more into strength. Probably one more into willpower. That'd be the way I would go. And then on to talents, which are just stuff that you can use. In game, um, it's got all this good stuff. Character quickly strengths a target four times, but dealing reduced damage with each hit. If the character has shield mastery, the damage from each hit increases. Very nice. Do I have shield mastery? Overpower. No, no, no. Where is shield? There is shield mastery. I need more dexterity. I think in that case, what do we do with death blow? Each time this warrior, the warrior fells an enemy. Oh, it's passive. Uh, the end of the battle seems closer at hand, restoring a portion of the warrior's stamina. That's not bad. I think we'll do that instead. First run auto level up uh, or max. There we go. Um, Poliana. I'm gonna go like that, and then one random somewhere else, which I think cunning would be it. There's a level three lock pick, which is very nice. Barn's performance, replete with dizzy flourishes, is designed to distract and confuse the targets. Forget who is fighting, becomes disoriented unless it passes a mental resistance check, which could be actually kind of cool. Although using items while sneaking is actually kind of cool as well. well. We'll do that first. Um, that was Liliana. Got a win. I don't mind just auto. Leveling her up, because I'm not trying to do anything weird with setting up her character. Yep, there we go. Wonderful. Spiffy. Let's do it. Um, ah, there we go. Emissary from the Dalish. Emissary from the Mages Guild. Well, 
Circle of Magic, but you, you get it. It's the same thing. And then, uh, this is from the, uh, Carl Eamon's guy. So, I don't know what else I can do here. Turning crafting materials for the Dalish. And my controller batteries are low. Um, let's do that. Let's see if this works. That's what I get. Forgetting to charge my controller and then playing for as long as I have with it. I haven't really needed to charge it in a while. You guys haven't guessed, I'm actually playing this on the Xbox. This is one of the nice things about it is that I already owned the game from years ago. Uh, so, weird. why not just play it on the Xbox where I already have it? Didn't have to go buy it again. The only reason why I potentially would have gone and bought it again is if they had actually... Uh, I'll switch it to this because I can charge this one. Um, at least with what I've got set up. I can charge this one too. I just don't have the correct cable set up. Anyway. It would have been nice because, like, they did it. From what I've seen, I haven't actually played the game myself, but the Mass Effect Legendary Edition that, ha that contains all three games and does a full on remake of the original Mass Effect. Very cool. It's either a remake or full-on remaster. I don't know, because they've also tweaked some differences in the in the UI and the gameplay, and it looks really cool. I like it, um, from what I've seen, anyway. I would love for them to do the same thing with this game, because as you can kind of tell, the textures are not great. They are somewhat um, low texture, low poly, low everything. Not that that's bad, but it's just it's it's a little underwhelming visually, let's say this. Like, the game has not aged particularly well when it comes to the visuals, right? Um, doesn't look horrible, but it feels like the, the visuals in this game were probably a step down from even Mass Effect, so. But with that said, I really like the game. Uh, but I would have liked it if Mass Effect, or not Mass Effect, Bioware had actually made a Remaster or even a remake of this game because that would have actually been super cool And you get a, a nicer nicer look to everything uh, Now I'm not gonna talk to anybody actually maybe I should actually be honest Talk to Max quickly. I don't think he yeah, we're just gonna pet Max. Yep. He's just gonna roll on his back. Yep. It's fine Good boy Did you good boy? Okay, uh, let's go to quickly talk to Zev. Here I am. Yes, you are. Uh, character answers some questions. Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. What's your opinion on the Dalish? I know little enough of the Dalish other than the fact that my mother was one. Dalish. Or so okay. I was told. She had fallen in love with an elven woodcutter and accompanied him back to the city, leaving her clan behind for good. And there, of course, the woodcutter died of some filthy disease and my mother was forced into prostitution to pay off his debts. Yikes. All this tale in the book. Oh gosh, that seems like a horrible way to go. Was the woodcutter your father? How should I know? My mother was a whore, as you'll recall. None of the other elven boys in the whorehouse knew their fathers. I was not so unusual. I didn't know my mother either, of course. She died giving birth to me. My first victim, as it were. We were all raised communally by the whores. It was a happy enough existence, ignoring the occasional beating. Mm. Until eventually I was sold to the crows. I brought a good price, so I hear. Well, and yet you're oddly cheerful about it. It could have been much worse. Shall I tell you about what happened to the other whorehouse boys who did not fetch a decent price with the crows? Oh my. Surely your life has not been so idyllic. People like you and I are not the product of happy lives of contentment, after all. Hmm. I suppose you could say something like that, but I mean... Yours is way worse. My original point is that my mother's Dalish nature was always a point of fascination for me. Through all the years of my crow training, the one thing of my mother's that I possessed was a pair of gloves. 
They were of Dalish make, I knew that much, and beautiful. I had to keep them hidden, of course, as we were not allowed such things. Eventually, they were discovered, and I never saw them again. Hmm. But you don't think of yourself as Dalish? Not at all. I think of myself as Antivan. Still, that did not stop me from running off to join a clan when I drew near Antiva City once. Naturally, the reality did not live up at all to the fantasies I had constructed as a boy, staring at those gloves. But, such is life. Come, enough talk of the Dalish. Let us move on. Hmm. Okay. Here I am. I would like to ask you something personal. Again? I'm game. Nope, I've, <laughs> apparently I've got nothing to ask you. Never mind. Uh, Here I am. One last thing. Uh, I'd like to. I'd like you to answer some questions, please. Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. Do you actually enjoy being an assassin? And why not? There are many things to enjoy about being a crow in Antiva. You are respected. You are feared. The authorities go out of their way to overlook your trespasses. Even the rewards are nothing to turn your nose up at. As for the killing part, well. Some people simply need assassinating. Or do you disagree? Oh gosh. So you've never killed any innocent? Now there's an interesting word, innocent. How many men do you know who can claim to be truly innocent? But if you're talking generalities, such as children and relatives and bystanders and such, exactly. never on purpose. But it happens. It's unfortunate, but death comes to us all. If not me, then some wasting disease, or a fall down the stairs, or at the hands of a darkspawn. It's all relative in the end. Hmm. It's a very practical attitude. Death happens, as we like to say. And when I get paid for it, death happens more often. As far as enjoying the act of killing itself, why not? There is a certain artistry to the deed. The pleasure of sinking your blade into their flesh and knowing that their life is in your hands. To be honest, I don't really take any pleasure in killing. It is not pleasure, per se, nothing sexual. It is more a sense of satisfaction. That's not what I mean. A feeling of power. Does that make sense? No matter. There are many things I did not enjoy about being a crow, of course. Having no choice, being treated as an expendable commodity, the rules, oh, so many rules. But simply being an assassin, I like it just fine. Mm. I will continue to do it if I can, even if I am not a crow. Honestly, could you picture me doing something else? Why not? You can do whatever you like. Whereas I am content merely doing what I happen to be good at. It's a talent that not many come by honestly. I don't see why I need not pursue it. Of course, all these thoughts are moot. Chances are still good that you and I will perish, eaten by darkspawn or slain by the crows at some point. Very gruesomely, I imagine. But it is pleasant enough to chat about. Come, let's move on while our boots still have some wear in them. Indeed. Oh, and he approved. Very nice. Okay, let's speak to Sten quickly. Yes. Gosh, you're huge. Doesn't help that I'm a dwarf either. Uh. Well, you have a question. I am hardly surprised. I know. Actually, never mind. Very well. I love how to. Like, come on, if I don't have any questions, don't even show that as an option. Is, is that too hard to ask? Oh, gosh. I want to discuss something you mentioned. Speak then. What do you mean about fiends in Saharan? Ours wear the faces of men. Do you mean they're abominations? No. They do not have the excuse of demons within them. 
Darkspawn, abominations, plagues, and storms. Men are far more dangerous than these. One moment of betrayal can bring more ruin than an earthquake. You know this. Aye. So they're traitors. They are Talvashoth. They say they are Grey Ones. True in the knowledge of themselves. They are gaping holes where men used to be. Nothing can fill them. What's so terrible about them? There was a village in the mountains of Saharon. Farmers. They grew cinnamon and nutmeg trees in perfectly ordered rows. There would always be one person waiting, a foreman, a harvester, rank didn't matter. Often they would say nothing. Simply watch as we worked to examine the empty house, a new one each time, that had once been the home of a colleague, a friend. We always made a point of searching. Now and then a body would turn up in a river eaten by rain and crows. More often we found nothing. Even in the worst parts of the jungle, the villagers would send someone with us to see the tiniest piece of bone or cloth. Anything contained the possibility of their lost friend. Must we speak of this? We could be fighting something. I had another question. Very well. Why did the Tal of Vashoth fight you? Isn't it the nature of a wound to bleed? I have no more answers than you. Why do we fight the Darkspawn? Why do the Darkspawn fight us? It's not exactly the same thing, though. Darkspawn aren't intelligent. You are. Why do you fight? To defend my people. In the Antam, we are told of the enemy. Assume he loves as you love, hates as you hate, and fights just as hard as you. It's a lie, of course. But does that matter, so long as you stand and believe you know your enemy? The Talvashoth wish us dead, and we wish to go on living. The point of our war is war. Hmm. Interesting. I had another question. Very well. Why does it... Why... Okay, I have a question. Bioware, why does this option not exist for any of the other characters? Then I suggest... For every on. character, it, like, pots me out. Well, let's go. As you wish. For every character... Holy shit! We did good with Sten. Normally Sten's a real grouchy guy, but damn, he he did not He did not hate my questioning that time. That's uh that's a first for me. That's amazing. Nice. Hello, Morgan. Yes. I'd like to ask you something. If you must. Never mind. Oh, God. Yes. I need to ask something personal. We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. Good point. Discuss us. What? I don't think I've taken any romance options with her, have I? Uh, you should do a Morgan cosplay stream. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that would look good. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I think literally play, going as, uh, trying a Sten, Sten cosplay would uh, work a whole lot better. <laughs> how's your night going, Nunu? What you been up to, man? How's your, uh, how was your weekend, man? That's funny. Uh. Never mind. Hold on. I'm actually f fascinated to see. Hold on, no, 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 no. This is. Surprisingly, Sten likes me more? That's crazy. And Wynn likes me more as well. And then, of course. Max, my my good boy. Of course, Max loves me unconditionally. That's that's dogs right there. Not bad. Has yours? It's good. It's good. 
A nice, uh, very nice chill weekend. Pretty much just hung out. I don't even remember exactly what I was doing. Oh, Saturday. I do remember a little bit. Saturday, <laughs> I kind of, kind of wrenched my back. I don't know what the hell I did. I was just trying to put on some damn pants. I can go uh, exercise, and the next thing I know, my back's killing me. I've had a sore back all weekend, so that was fun. I think I just must have slept on it wrong and then just moved in just the wrong way, and the next thing I know, my back was just sore. It wasn't like crazy, like, oh my gosh, I can't move type of thing, but it was just more of a, ow. You know, just like a continuous minor pain. It was weird. Didn't make any damn sense. So, yeah, it was a weird one. But outside of that, it was actually a pretty good weekend. I uh, had some nice steak dinner, which was fantastic. Cooked up some homemade butter chicken curry and uh, watched a whole bunch of shows with my folks. Uh, got to play and just hang out and uh, got set up for a couple of the next games in the stream. Got all the, like, the intro screens set up. So I think overall, a pretty effective weekend. I was weekend. just thinking about what happened to the elves, and I... I'm reminded of a song sung to me many years ago. It was when my mother died. And this wise elven woman comforted me and told me that we shouldn't fear death or hate it. Death is just another beginning. One day, we must all shed our earthly bodies to allow our spirits to fly free. True. We believe that we return to the stone and become ancestors. And thus you embark upon another journey. Death is just the gateway. Indeed. Is she gonna sing? What's happening? She is in fact going to sing. Okay. Typical bard. Oh, we're gonna have this conversation. Then I'm going to start singing. Because reasons. seems to be enjoying it. Oh, it's the intro song. At least that's what it sounds like. It sounds very similar to it. Like, there's some slight variation, but it sounds very similar to the beginning song. Just Den. Mr. Grouchy Pants. There's clearly more to his story, but he is not willing to talk about it. Very nice. Lovely. Yes? I'd like to talk. Well, here I am. You were a tra- Why did the music just cut out? Okay, game. <laughs> 
You were a traveling minstrel. Do you have tales to share? Of course I do. I love stories far too much to keep them to myself. Everyone should be able to benefit from them, I think. Uh... There was another story I was wanting to hear. Which one? Again, again, again. Now I've listened to all these, damn it. I thought of it just now, but it slipped my mind. It will come to you soon, I'm sure. I'm sure. You know, this this one doesn't say again, so we'll try this one. Tell me about the Darkspawn. Chantry Law says it is man's pride that created the Darkspawn. Well, I'm pretty In sure she told me about past, it. The mages of the Tevinder Imperium ruled much of the world we know. In their pride, they thought their magics invincible and imagined that they were greater than the Maker himself. So thinking, they invaded his golden city, planning to take it for themselves and depose their own creator. But they were impure and full of sin. And it is with the sin that they tainted the golden city, corrupting it forever. The Maker cursed them and cast them from his sight. Wherever they went, they spread the taint of their sin. Any land that was touched by the taint became blighted and would suffer no life. Instead, the darkspawn arose to torment us and remind us of our hubris. Hmm. Right. Okay, let's just move on. Yes? Uh, no. Nothing, never mind. And now I do start wondering about the gifts that I have, as well as, let's take a look at her. So what is she? Oh, she's got that. Nothing else that she can actually use. That is actually a level up. That's pretty much it. Give her the fry the fire arrows. Might as well. Um nice. I'm also gonna have to go through at some point and decide which gifts need to go where. Uh, but until then, uh I am gonna go and drop stuff off and then let me actually see what quests we've got going. The Blight. Yes, we've got that. Got that. In Orzammar's Aid. That's where I still need to go. That's right. Um... Uh, Master of the uh, Beast is concerned that one herd is infected with Werewolf Curse. Although, shouldn't... Oh, wait, 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 hold on. I need to go talk to her again. The Mage's Treasure. Find the Mage's Treasure. You have recovered... Oh, that's right. Uh, we're gonna save that to, like, way last. Uh, Dragon Scale Armor. Back Alley Justice. Missing in action. Okay, Circle Magi. Watch Guard of the Reaching. The notes of the Apprentice Gant have revealed... An ancient ritual in the Circle Tower. It begins in the Great Hall Common Room, although uh, Gant was apparently unable to complete his own attempt. Okay, and then summoning signs, you found a textbook. In summoning rituals, it would be unwise and altogether unsafe to encourage to engage in such exercises with uh, with the library in its current state. But we can go back now. Chantry board. Logan's push. Uh, the Chantry has unwittingly provided. Uh, oh, very nice. Companions, Flemish Grinmore, Mages Collective, there we go. Place of Power, that's right, uh, and also Termination. Uh, travel to the Brocklin Forest and slay the Cabal. Whoa, I don't even notice that. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to take... Uh, Max with me, because I don't think I've had him with me at all so far. 
And then we're going to take uh, yes. wind. And... Uh... It's like a rogue. We already have a magician. Indeed. Okay, and then we're going to go back to the Brocklin Forest. Uh, Danger Witch are well recorded in local legends. Thank you. <laughs> she just ran and throws down a heel. An odd one. You're such a handsome dog. I think that every time I look at you. Yes, he is. He's a good boy. Lady Cecily, I lived with her after my mother died, had a dog. A small one, red to fit under the arm and in the lap. What did you name it? Oh, yes. Bonbon. Oh, hmm. Bonbon was a terror. He would hide, you know, when he saw you coming. And then he would attack your ankles. Razor sharp teeth in the ankles. Very painful. Small he dog syndrome. Latched onto my leg. I thought it was a diseased rat and kicked. Bonbon flew across the room and yeah. over the baluster. He survived, but he never came near me after that. Nice. Hello. Come to check on my hollow and I again, have you? Indeed. Is there anything I can do to help? I don't know. Do you have any skills that might help her? If you do, I would be grateful. Shouldn't the curse be lifted? I don't know. Uh, do you have any skin? Oh. And? What do you think? I truly cannot tell. I am glad you attempted it regardless. I should go. I will watch her for a while longer and see if her condition changes. I am grateful for your assistance, friend. And here I thought I'd already finished. The quest should be done. Which means the, the holla shouldn't be any sort of issue. I don't get it. Okay, we're gonna go into the Brocklin Forest because I wanna I wanna see if I can't at least uh, get some sort of indicator. No, that's not that one. That's a plot point. It's not exactly the one. Um, I'll go back to where the old guy is. See if he might know. There's supposedly Maleficarum here, somewhere. I'd... Who the hell are you guys? Brent? You! You are the Grey Warden who broke the curse! I demand to know what happened to the werewolves. Where did they go? Um, I don't know. They're no longer werewolves. The curse is broken. That makes no difference. Those, those monsters killed my husband. They killed so many of my people. They have Dalish blood on their hands. If they are human once more, that shall make it all the easier to take vengeance for their crimes. Tell me where they are. Sweet tattoo. Uh, yeah, actually, that's a pretty cool tattoo. I'm not gonna lie. Zatharian wanted vengeance too. And look what that did. His vengeance was just. If I cannot have their blood, then I will have yours. In the name of the god of vengeance, Elgarhan, I demand justice! Ha! Let's wipe them out quickly! Oh, shite. Okay, 
Okay, first of all... Actually, she's gonna heal me, so that's good. Um, I'm gonna do... That one, and then... Here's... Thank you, puppy! I love you, puppy! You're the best! Should not have bought me, sweetheart. Where are you running? Two down. Jackass. But the handsome bows. Injury kit. Very nice. Of course, because we had our, our wonderful mage. Massacre. Massacre? They attacked me! Massacres are not done in self-defense, sir. Massacre. <laughs> or you're saying we, we fought them very well? Yes, that would be correct. The spirit was left to guard over something. I'll leave it alone for right this second. I'm going to save. Because that was a quote unquote fun fight. And then. Stir the gravestone. Hello. What the hell? Did you just knock me? Good boy. You! Oh gosh, I'm so glad I saved. I don't know if we're ready for this fight. This is a real massacre. Started, so you can't be called a massacre. <laughs> true, true. I'm not even gonna argue that. And there goes Win. And there goes me. Man, that thing's overpowered. Yep. Well, let's load last save. That's that's the reason why I saved. Yeah, we're not touching that. We are not touching that whatsoever. I'm curious, let's talk to this guy. Greetings to thee once again. Thou hast not yet left the forest, then? Nope. I was hoping to find this quote-unquote Maleficarum that's here. Um... Drop to the Brackland Forest, Brazilian Forest, sorry, and slay the Cabal of Maleficarum. I am here in the Brazilian Forest. Man, I really wish that the, uh... That would show, like, properly where on the world map I would need to go to. And I assume it's here. It says it's here. Yet I've yet to see any evidence of the Maleficarum. So there's that. Tombstone, Manherbic Clearing. 
and then back to the ruin ruins. I'm gonna have to look this up because I don't know where I need to go. I've literally explored everywhere. I don't know where the quote unquote Maleficarum are. The Cabal of Mar Maleficarum, I should say. Who knows, maybe maybe the Mad Hermit would have uh, some information on that. I mean, he is a mage. He could very well be it. Oh, you've done it now. You've surely done it now. <laughs> oh, you've done it now. You've surely done it now. <laughs> Examine the... Yep. Nah. Don't you have any manners whatsoever? Were you raised by a rodent? Well, we're gonna leave the stump alone. I... yeah, okay. I have no idea where to go from here. That is East Rockland Forest. Whatever reason seemed to allow me to travel to West Brockland. In fact, no, it won't let me travel anywhere. Or I'm gonna have to look this up because I would like to finish that quest, and yet I can't really seem to uh, find anything that would allow me to travel there. North exit to West. South exit to west. Hmm. East. West. Werewolf Lair, Elven Tomb. No, I've already gone through the Elven Tombs. I had to go through the Elven Tombs to get to the Werewolf Lair. Actually, that would also be an interesting one. We could actually go and try and fight Flemeth. I know that's one of the, uh... That is one of the... Companion side quests. I also do wonder if I should be, like, throwing out... Uh, not throwing out, but... Handing in the gifts to, uh, all the people. Trying to get them, uh leveled up with the liking of me, so at least I can try and get these companion quests. Essentially, essentially they're loyalty quests, like from Mass Effect. So I think it would be a good idea for me to get them finished before I start doing other stuff. trying to figure out what if, if I need to go to Denerim next or if I do yep very interesting this one says Okay, okay. So at this point, I can either go to Denerim or uh, Orzammar. 
either way. Have anything when else to say? Nope. Issue the call, we will be ready to fulfill our obligation. Thank you. You are not ready to. Hmm, excuse me. Uh, I am gonna quickly see what else I can. Bring 10 bundles of deep mushrooms to the mages. Collective. Deep mushrooms, okay. Justice must be served. You were asked to deliver 10 Lyrian potions to the Knight Commander Harith on behalf of the mages collective. If mages... Uh, giving questionable gifts to Templars doesn't seem right. You can go to Knight... Uh, if mages giving questionable gifts to Templar Knights doesn't seem right... You can go to the Knight Commander Tavish in Denerim and testify about the bribe with the Leering Potions as evidence. Interesting. That actually wouldn't be a bad way to go. Give to Science procure 10... Procure and deliver 10 Leering Potions to Knight Commander Harith in Redcliffe. Uh, find five scrolls of Bannister and return them to the Mage's Collective. Interesting. Really a lot that I can do right now. And I gotta wait. That I can do, but I'm pretty certain that would probably get me killed. Uh, watch guarding the reaching notes in the apprentice. Uh, I could head back to the Circle of Magi. Or I can head to Denerim and start doing some of this stuff. Uh, Brockwood Force. Mage's Treasure. I've got one of them. But I don't I don't feel like I'm ready for any any more ridiculous fights like that. Yes? You do not believe? I do, to some extent. It does not go. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna head up to Soldier's Peak. And there is the Arch. You're awake. Did you... Did you feel it too? <laughs> it was like the Archdemon saw us. Saw us! What does that mean? I think... Wait. Did you hear that? Uh-oh. We're gonna have a fight. We're having a fight. Correct. I guess it's like Duncan once said, we can sense them and they can sense us. We'd best be more careful from now on. This camp isn't safe any longer. Huh. Apparently. Fortification should be built around the camp. How unnerving. It will be more difficult to sleep here now. No ambush. Some assassins. Yeah, they are pretty much assassins. Uh, seems like you're always getting into fights where you're blowing. There's no diplomacy. There, there was an ambush. And I, I tried to be nice to that dollish lady, but I'm like, you you need a knot. You need a knot, lady. She's like, nah, we want to kill him. I'm like, no. Seems rude. We all here? Everybody good? Alistair, what the fuck was that? What do you need? I had another dream about the Archdemon. Yes, me too. And I got the feeling at the end there that it saw us, was aware of us, whatever you want to call it. Could have just been my imagination, I suppose. What do you think?
I think we need to be extra careful. I thought we were already being extra careful. Does that mean well, we then have let's to be extra, extra, extra careful, careful now? Don't you Great. jinx Yomiko. There I was enjoying my nap. I guess one thing is certain, at least, isn't it? It's official. This is a blight. Yo. Yep. What do you need? I'd like to ask you something. Ask away. So what can a Templar do exactly? Essentially, they're trained to fight. The Chantry would tell you that the Templars exist simply to defend. <laughs> but don't let them fool you. They're an army. The of other main purpose for a Templar is, of course, to hunt mages. To that end, we train in talents that drain mana and disrupt spells. Hmm. So Templars use magic themselves? You could call it that, sure. The Chantry doesn't look on it the same way, however, since really our talents only work on mages. Against a regular person, I'm just a guy in a metal suit. Hmm. Have you haunted many mages? No, I never actually became a full Templar. Duncan recruited me before I took my vows. Right. I was only present during one harrowing. The ritual that they test the mages with. It's not unlike our joining, really. And... Just as deadly. The girl they tested, she had a demon put inside her. To see if she could resist. And she couldn't. Oh my. We had to... End it quickly. I have to say, I didn't have much interest in becoming a Templar after that. Seems like the Templars could run the Chantry. You'd think that. But it's not so. The Chantry keeps a close rein on its Templars. We are given Lyrium to help develop our magical talents, you see. Hmm. Which means we become addicted. And since the Chantry controls the Lyrium trade with the Dwarves, well, I'm sure you can put two and two together. Yep. So, you're addicted to this Lyrium? Thankfully, no. You only start receiving Lyrium once you've taken your vows. You don't need hey, Lyrium in order to learn the Templar talents. Lyrium just makes Templar's talents more effective. Or so I was told. Maybe it doesn't even do that. The Chantry usually doesn't let their Templars get away, either, so they can spread their secrets. I'm a bit of an exception. Lucky me. Yep. You're yes. right. Never mind. But you. Yes. Not much? Nice, nothing wrong with that. I want to discuss something with you. Speak, then. Never mind. <laughs> I suggest we move on. Indeed, let's go. As you wish. Here I am. No, oh, that's it. Thinking of playing Subnautica again? Nice. Not really much of a... I don't know, like, just nothing about that game really grabs me. I just... I... I... I mm. I can't do the whole underwater thing. I'm not really a fan. That's not a gift? It's interesting. Yes. Indeed. It's very relaxing for you. You don't know why? Well, hey, well, hey, if you enjoy it, Please, by all means, enjoy it. I just know I've always been super stressed, stressed every time I play that game. Why do you have to go all the way there to go? But, at least we're here. Can I go up and inside? That's the real question. Still doesn't have the option. 
Just being down there under the ocean in my in my hab, sounds of Leviathans. And that's the problem for me. I don't like the sound of the Leviathans. It always terrifies me. Is there something you need? No. No, I shouldn't be disturbing you. It is no trouble. I wanted to deal with the party supplies. Come on. That actually might be worth keeping around, and that, but that I can get. Drop that too. Go the armor. Now, deep rock should be here. There's death root. I don't know why there's. What's the difference between these? They should all be the same. That's bizarre. Think of which there's deep mushroom. I'm just gonna pick everything up just to try and consolidate here. I now actually have enough deep mushroom here, so I'm gonna drop everything else off. Now that everything is, uh, that's odd. Interesting, only like stacks of 40, okay. Hmm. We got the deep mushroom. Drop that off. No, I cannot. Damn it, this game. Why can't I go in and talk to crazy hermit guy or, like, get the rest of the stuff that was there? That's irritating. Um. Oh, that's the Civil War stuff. Range of dramatic peaks that stretch across the west, forming a natural border with Orlay. But then, how do I get to. Oh, that's the Circle Tower. I see, I see, I see. Okay, well, before we go, um, let me go back to the quest here. No, 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 no. There we go. Bring 10 bundles. Where was it? Where was it? Okay. Mages Collective. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the Mages Collective, which is right there. Drop all those ten bundles of the deep, uh, deep mushroom, whatever the hell it's called. Oh, shit. Might be a nice health in it for us. Hmm. We got wolves on all sides of us. So we're gonna let them get close and then here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do war cry. Madam, if you wouldn't mind... Actually, no, don't do that, don't do that. Uh, I need you hidden up a Lyrian potion, please. I shall do so. Yes! And just for safety's sake, let's have to... What? Bags. Do not. 
that'd be great. Shit, no down. We're all dead. Lovely. The journey ends. Please tell me there was a decent last save. An auto save. Fuck. Crying out loud. <laughs> Why am I stuck? Stop stunning me, you son of a bitch. Like Duncan once said, we can sense them, and they can sense us. Indeed. We'd best be more careful from now on. This camp isn't safe any longer. Agreed. What they send next, Darkspawn tax collectors? Fortification should be built around the camp. How unnerving. It will be more difficult to see. Okay, let's try this again. Again, we're going with Indeed. her. Going with Win, and then we're going with uh, Max the War Dog. Except, great, wonderful. We're gonna travel up to here. I should have saved after dropping everything off. I really didn't think I'd get like an immediate. Here's twenty three wolves for you to fight all at one time. Really did not think that. everything up. That's more ice arrows. Think of that, I can actually Okay, I can upgrade that. Arcane only Arcane work. Is that She can't use that yet. Okay. Now that I can give to win. There we go. this just again to consolidate everything and to pull out the deep mushroom oh. Nope. 
not yet. Uh, go to here. Then I'm gonna swap this out for that one. Huzzah! And Liliana needs to use that one instead. Give her the fire arrows. What do I have? Ah, what do I have? Current fire bolt. Can't combine, but I don't mind holding on to it. It's for her. For that. That would be better. I think that is it. So we're gonna go ahead and stash that. Keep the boat. Keep the bolts. Uh, we'll stash that. And there we go. Cool, cool, cool. We're gonna come to here. We're gonna save this time. I don't want to die again, ridiculously. There we go. And then we'll head out. Just to double check, cause I'm, yeah, there we go. Cause I'm OCD. And I was trying to come there to the Lake Kalanid docks. I don't know if there's other locations. There we go. I guess wolves again. Right ahead. Yep. There we go. back in here just so I can try and do some backup and whatnot. Hey, no repeat. How you doing, man? Is it the best Dragon Age Origin, origin stre streamer on Twitch? I can't read, so clearly not. How you doing, no repeat? Yes, it is. If you say so. If you say so, Goopsa. I try. I try. I fail, but I try. Yes. How you doing? Hope you're having a like, fine evening. Why am I attacking with my... What is happening? Oh, Liliana, you are getting your ass handed to you. What is happening? Today was a day. Well, how about you? <laughs> Today was a Monday. It wasn't bad. Uh, it wasn't uh, great either, but... Uh, I had a decent day. Liliana, please heal. Please, please, please heal. Yes! Thank you! One down. Who's the weakest right now? Well, we got yes. some two for action going on right now. You need a lyrium potion. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put on some venom. And you know, why don't you do it as well? Venom, there we go. And we are good. Let's do it. <laughs> Very close by on the health bars. really don't know what I'm looking at here. That's supposedly a wolf. Oh, there. I see, I see. My cat caught a rat who ate rat poison. He's okay, but I had to take him to the vet, so I was a little worried. Yikes, dude. I hope he's doing alright. Your cat's doing okay. Yeah, that's, uh... That certainly can be a little uh, terrifying, right? 
need you to use another Lyrian potion, please. But I hope your cat's doing alright. It sounds like he kinda is. Yes. Holy crap, did we survive it this time? We did. We survived the ridiculous wolf attack. I want you to dis disarm all of these ridiculous traps. So I can get all that wonderful, delicious XP. Because reasons. Is there something you need? No, there is not when go away. It is no trouble. I don't know is why there I you need. It is no trouble. Why? I don't understand. Like for no reason whatsoever. She's just like, hey, yeah. Uh 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 do you need anything? Like I'm I'm not even on her, and then all of a sudden it's just the prompts like, no no, you want to talk to her, right? No, no I don't. Drop right ahead. Drop right ahead. I'll we'll get all that sweet, sweet XP, Liliana. Yeah, he a little sore from stomach pumping, but uh, I'm glad he's gonna be okay. Good. Very glad to hear. Yeah, you don't you don't wanna be playing around with uh You know, essentially any sort of rat poison when it comes to your pets, so... Yeah. Certainly a good idea to take him to the vet. So, I'm glad he's doing okay. So, we're back here at this... Well, it's just outside of the tower, but we are going here first. I need a hand shit in. Hello. Take this. You've earned it. Thank you. Good to see you again. Okay, so let's see what, if any, what this killer just served. Blah blah blah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. The dream. Nothing new there. Okay. And for whose amusement? Some being power sublime. Maybe you can answer me this. Uh, are there, Pete? Are there other locations for that for the Mages Collective, or are they is it only here at this dock? Because I kind of feel like it's only here at this dock, but I could be a thousand percent wrong. Shady patron. Well, you aren't shady. What are you looking at? Can a man drink in peace? No. Irana. Good day. Innkeeper. Welcome back to the Spoiled Princess. How may I serve you today? Oh, you like a drink? Of course. What would you like? He's got random armor? That compared to... Max. Wall strength. Fire resistance. I think the physical resistance is better for him right now. Oh, she's literally wearing the same thing. Love it. Just wanna do oh you got health potions. Hell yes, I'm gonna take you, you both of those. I'll take both your Lyrian potions. Thank you very much. Take these. I don't really care that much about the injury kit. Those are plans. I don't mind the plans, but I don't really care that much about the trap making. What I really would like would be more potion stuff. Oh, I can get wine here. I'll get wine. Might as well sell a whole bunch of these. Okay. Thank you. 
don't know why she that like that, but okay. Back out to the docks. A very minuscule map, if you ask me. Is there a way to go around here and talk to those guys? Yay or nay? Landmark that just... Okay. Make her rest the souls of all, Templar and mage, who gave their lives defending the circle. May they find peace and love. Okay. Talk to Kester. Welcome back, youngster. Looking to go across to the tower? Did you just call me youngster? Are you kidding me right now? Right, sure. Please take me. You got your boat back? Gregor came by, said I could have Lissy back. He seemed sad and tired. Hmm. I would like to go to the tower. Off we go, then. Thank you. Yeah, we're just kind of doing some side questing right now. Before I go off to Or... See, at this point, I can't decide if I go back to Orzammar and confront my brother first, or if I go to Denerim and deal with that stuff there. I don't know. Knight Commander Gregor. Templar. First Enchanter Irving. Welcome back, friend. You'll be glad to learn that the Circle is well on its way to recovery. Good. Will the Circle be ready to face the Blight? Do not worry. We are gearing up for battle as we speak. We will be there when the time comes. Noise. Uh, is there anything else I can do for you? You've already done much for the Circle. Now you must see to your duty as a Grey Warden. Working on it. Forgive me, but I must take my leave. I wish you well. No, you will always be welcome here. Thank you. Uh, I've been assigned bringing out the bodies and burning them. Lovely. Talk to you. My men have scouted the tower. It's a mess, but the abominations are gone. Good. You are very thorough. I'm impressed. Indeed. Well. The circle will be back to normal in no time. In no time? Hmm. Doubtful. But it doesn't hurt to be optimistic sometimes. Doubtful? Okay. I shan't keep you then. Farewell. Thank you. Well, um... Who are you, Quartermaster? You really killed all those abominations? Right. I didn't think it was possible. I thought we'd all die here. I'm sure you need supplies after that, don't you? Yes, I do. Let's trade. Hey, what you got? Oh, you got some nice stuff. Very nice indeed. Um, but I'm not going to take any of your weapons, but a magical staff would be nice. I still don't know what these crystals are for. Hmm. Oh, that's right. She's got dragon bone. She's got that thing. I might take. Oh, I, ah, that's. Oh gosh, game just. I want to take all those arrows just so I can give them to Liliana. At least she's got plenty of stuff. I don't know. Oh, I could buy it. Game. What the? Game just jerking me around. Really, the things I'm most uh, concerned about is... That. Get some more of that. Get some of that. Get some of those. And... And I'll buy that. One point to spend on a talent or spell, but this render is useless afterwards. Interesting. Um, oh, there we go. I think I already have an injury. Hold on. Very nice. Uh, let me go to... Let's 
she has potion making? Yes, she does. Already have lesser health postus, lesser uh, lyrium potion. Uh, one of these and a lesser injury kit. So what I need is other stuff. I need regular health postus, regular lyrium potion. I am sorry. Alrighty. You really killed all those abominations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you need supplies after that. Yes, I do. Let's trade. Um, injury kit. Don't care. Don't care. Lyrium potion. Thank you very much. Oh, he's got a shit ton of lyrium dust. At this point, like, the thing I need most is flasks. Do you have flasks here? No, I don't freaking see it. Nope. Oh. Well, okay. You know, I actually do need to take a very quick break, guys. I need to go get some water. Um, so I recommend you guys doing the same thing. Stand up. Stretch, go do what you need to do. Uh, we will be back very shortly. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in about a minute or two. And then we'll continue on going through the Circle of Magi. See you guys in a second.
Get back to it. Sorry about the extra delay, guys, but uh, I need to go hit the restroom as well as get a new drink. And I wanted to quickly check on my dad, who was having some uh, minor heart problems a little bit earlier tonight, but he seems to be doing a lot better now, so. Yeah, so I just wanted to check on, check on him, see if he was doing alright. Okay, let's get back into it. We're going through the Circle of Magi. Here, there is I know one quest that is here that we can uh, quickly, or potentially quickly, deal with. Okay. Also, fascinating. Thank you. We'll take that. I didn't even realize there was stuff there for me to pick up. So, I mean, hell, just, just the mere fact that I can come back through here and get more stuff. That's uh, kind of nice, if you ask me. Boys are better at magic than girls. All right. Hello. Petra. I think we will be all right now, thanks to you. The children are already a lot calmer. Very glad to hear it. I dread to think of what might have become of us if you hadn't come along. Sure. Come, swift sword, and deliver me that I might find the Maker again. Where does that go? Allow me. I could do that for you. Thank you. What now? And gold. I will gladly take gold. Uh. Can't do that. An unseen force holds these doors closed. Well, let's see what else we can. Come on, you've rested enough. We need to get these out of the tower before they get fragrant. Oh gosh. <laughs> That's true. Tome of Spirit Personages. Ow. On table carving spot, no. Was this this is clearly it. Okay, um hold on. Go to the quest. Tower. Sorry, the circle of magi. Notes and Prentice Grant uh, have revealed an ancient ritual in the Circle Tower. It begins in the Great Hall Common Room, although Gant was apparently unable to complete this on his own attempt, so I mark that. Um, let's go to bugger off. Um, where is is there not quest related? Oh, that's completed quest. Never mind. I take it back. Uh, quest related. Maker's wind, Darcy. I said I'd wait, but it's not just a disagreement. Uldred set abominations loose. That's nice, man. Anywho, uh, one was in my mentor's robe. If you make it here, something in the spot may help you out. Uh, no point in hiding it from the senior mages now. And don't worry. About Denry's usual fee for moving his bed, he is dead. Rets, rag rats, uh, a wash guard for preaching. 
Wait, is that it? That's it. That is it. Watch her. Crying out loud. Watch her for the week. Here we go. Okay, I'm telling you guys, it's a test like the summoning. Why else would lessons be cancelled? And that outburst in the library with Aldred and Aldertone fell in a page. In the reaching, I copied what I could before I they pushed us out. Ritual note. A sword lowered to strike through the ground. You can't tell me I wasn't supposed to see that. It's too convenient. Uh, I'm looking for more, and you'd be smart to help. Gant. No, no, no. And stop asking. I'm not getting in trouble because of you again. I don't care what's in the basement, and neither do the senior magi. Everything is about Aldred and the upper floors. I don't know what you're digging up, but those tomes are way older than our lesson texts, and apprentice shouldn't touch them. Ritual notes. Uh, ritual note, a sword lowered. Just right through. The thread burns before a giant. Spear raised. He stands alone, so whispers are known false. Nolan, scribbled in the corner. Don't need him. Owen knew reaching. First enchanter. Gorville fell suddenly to a disease of his lungs. His unfortunate disruption in the direction line of descent from tower founding should be treated as the opportunity. The circle will reform practices to better address the times. Many rituals remain viable, but some... Uh, the Two Bells, Garland's Lament, Watchguard the Reaching, have little or no meaning in our texts. Uh, we'll be, we will move forward as Doval once uh, would have wished and commit the ceremony of the age we have left. No plan uh, of estate, his belongings have been transferred to the common library, benefit of all. Corner Reaching. Again, an old, they don't know, idiot's wards weaken. Interesting. Today we passed uh, even further, far beyond any man. The inverted glow of the Black City was always on the horizon of perception, but a path eludes as always, untraveled in memory, living or otherwise. There is a pull, a whisper. I actually lost my place. Uh, sorry. There's a pull, and whispers abound. Something great is there, and away from this, always in perpetual... Sorry, always in peripheral, another mind, untethered. Tomorrow I will reach out with my full attention and try to rescue him from his listing. And someone else uh, have come this far. The wonders we shall share. The vessel in hand... Words from another time drip literal power. Uh, documents of the Reaching estimated 2nd century ancient first enchanter appointed watchguard of the Reaching held in secret. Corner Reaching before the circle. Someone else in the Fade. I want this. Uh, his silver cord transmuted black. Uh, there is no wonder his form shattered. What returned was not of the mortal nor native fade. Doesn't afterthought prove the gods when direct action is long missing? There is no purpose to this beast. Let the strength of the tower uh, wither it and memory pass. The only legacy to be taught. Stay focused within the fade. Whims escape to their own action. A sword raised to sever a connection. Documents reaching estimated 2nd century. Corner cord. Peasant magic must know, can almost see. Whispers want. Uh, hastily scribbled. Whispers say, Great Hall. Hidden above us the whole time. The vessel in hand, words from another time, drip literal power. Put on bowl. Sword raised to sever connection. Cord cut. A sword lowered to strike. Uh, through the ground, bile, threads placed before a warrior, spear raised, sh uh, shielded from each side, so whispers are known false. Where is this? It whispered order, but not where it is in my head. Okay.
Tomb of Spirit Personages. Uh... Thank me later for new invention. What's the new invention? Oh, you'll see? Oh, gosh. New food. Oh, wow. Is The real question is, is it good? Why right now? This is the apprentice quarters, the basement. Second floor, sealed doors, quartermaster. Looks like a great hall. In foodie section. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I love it. The ham dog. Part hamburger, part hot dog. All American. Hell yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. I love that. Very funny. Oh man. Um back to here. The vessel in hand put hole. Cord raised, cut the cord, file. That's it, but so bowl. Oh. No, that's not it. I don't know. If something like that existed, I would have to try it once at least. Yes, I agree. I agree. Spirit percentages. Is there something you need? No, go away. It is no trouble. I've not had this with any other character in my party. Oh, you poor thing. Spirit hog. Oh, but I had a garnet. Very nice. Oh, this is the summoning. Okay. Imagine cooking the bread. Uh for that thing must have been a nightmare. Oh, I'm sure. I I'm sure they probably I'm sure they probably had to make some sort of a uh, thing Bob, you know. You know, I'm sure they had to make some sort of mold, that's the word I was trying to look for, uh, to be able to actually handle cooking such an oddly shaped uh, bun, you know. Okay, exercise one. Address the summoning font. Select the second passage from the Toma Spirit on the second shelf. Uh, pass open hands through first summoning flames. Huh. Okay, address the summoning font. Recite the road, Rotacom's uncommon calling. Place one silver coin at the feet of the statue. Pass through the second. So, okay, so. Uh, Rotor comes, Uncommon's Calling, and then Magus, which there is that. 
Magus is over there. In the second summoning. Hello. Fascinating. I'm gonna save just in case it summons something on the last one. That would be pretty horrible to lose all that uh, sweet, sweet progress. Okay, third one. Bro, once at my old work, they ran out of hot dog buns, and the manager was like, use burger buns. Same concept, dude. You would literally use one half burger bun and for a hot dog, you know, and just essentially slice it a little bit down the middle to make the crease a little nicer, and there you go. Makes sense. I get it. Every single customer complained. I'm sure they did, but, you know, if you run out of hot dog buns, it's just the type of shit that happens. You know? Sucks, but, you know, just is what it is. Tasty, though. Very tasty. It's, it's the same type of bread. <laughs> Tell you what, though, I made an I made an amazing uh, butter chicken over the weekend, and it was fantastic. I should have actually posted it in the foodie section. I did not, and I regret it. I still can, I just can't write this second. Okay, Spirit Hog. So that was the first summon. The equivalent of a Fade Bottom Feeder, the gullet of the Spirit Hog, can contain minor gems, presumably uh, coalesced from ethereal elements in the Fade. Such creatures cannot survive in the mortal realm without summoner intervention. Oh, oh. which means that poor thing died. Uh, trickster Whim, a more, an amoral entity that delights in observing corporeal emotional discomfort a dangerous presence given that such creatures have little understanding or, or interest in the fragility of human flesh. Uh, and then, what's the last? Size three. Alert, Senior Magi of Lesson Commencement. Chicken sounds good. Chick it was very good. Butter chicken was amazing. You know, it's... it's uh, if you are unfamiliar, butter chicken is just, uh, it's it's essentially, it's a type of chicken curry, but it is, uh, I think, a vindaloo curry, I think is generally what it's considered. Yeah, it's kind of similar to a vindaloo, if not. Hold on. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me, let me do my research first. Butter chicken traditionally known as Merg Makani. Probably mispronounced it, but an Indian dish originating from New Delhi. Type of uh, curry made from chicken with a spiced tomato and butter sauce. Yeah, pretty much. It was amazing, though. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So... You know the Department of Agriculture had to cull millions of chickens over some disease outbreak? Interesting. That's chickens, legs, eggs, so on. Yeah, that's I didn't know that. I had no idea they had to cull millions of chickens. What the hell, man? What was the disease? Crazy. Okay. Experiment number three. Versus summoning font. Recite the second pack passage of Elvorn's Grand Bestiary. Sealed text, third area. Trace the, the chosen sigil in the first area. Common table. Okay, so... Summoning font. And something called Elvorin's... No. There we go. Then we need to trace the summoning table. That is Hya. There we go. There we go. What do we do from there? That's why price is high. You see the price of eggs and chicken rice. Yes, I have seen that. 
It's like five dollars for like a dozen eggs, which is kind of crazy considering it used to be like two. Uh, not too long ago, which I know doesn't seem like a lot, but that's doubled, at least. Um, and that's like the cheapest eggs, too. It's like $1.50, $2 for a dozen eggs. I don't know. It's some sort of avian flu. I would think. I mean, that's the only thing that makes any sense. Okay, uh, so I've recited the passage from Elvorin's Grand Beast Theory. Uh, we've traced the chosen sigil. Place a lock of hair between the pages of the Spiratorium. Right of the second text. Okay, so lock of hair between pages of Spiratorium. Where the fuzzy wuzzy is pages of Spiratorium. Okay, so there's that. And then... It would just stay down here. Uh, so we did the... Yep, now we need to go to Magus. And then... Yeah, so go to the statue of Magus uh, Gorvish, and then go breathe the dried hemlock in the novice factory. Okay. Yep, some places as high as $8 for a dozen eggs, which is insanity. That is insanity. Absolute insanity. It's crazy. Okay, so we've done the novice phylactery. Pass open hands through... Okay, there we go. Now we go through the summoning spots. What is that? Oh my gosh! A big-ass freaking thing. A Fade Rifter. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do Shield Bash. Nice. And it works. And then we're going to go ahead and do Shield Pommel. Nice. Ooh, Charged Mitts. Thank you. I'll take that. Kind of cool. Uh, let's see what we got. Charged Mitts, which I think only a... Now she's got better ones, unfortunately. Yeah, she's got better ones. Oh well, it's not bad. I know, right? Considering it was only two dollars not too long ago, yeah, absolutely crazy. Uh, people with their own few chickens in their backyard must be the happiest people right now. Yep, I got a neighbor with chickens. Although, you know what's interesting? I haven't seen him paying that much attention to his chickens right now, so I don't know what the hell's going on there. Maybe he doesn't care that much about his chickens. I don't know. But uh, it is kind of interesting that, uh, but yeah, he's got chickens, and he's got quite a few of them. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure he at least doesn't have to deal with that shit. I wish I could have gone with them to fight. If you don't need eggs. I don't know. He's got it's 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 a family of four next door, and, and I know they've got uh, other kids as well who've already moved out. So. I'm sure he's giving eggs to people. And I know it's not us, so. Hey, Zhaijin, how's it going, man? Good morning from the east coast of Sweden. Long time no see, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How you doing, man? Yeah, it has been a while. What you been up to, Zhaijin? Hope you're doing well. Um, we are right now just playing through some Dragon Age. Um... To be honest, I was thinking I was going to finish it up this week. I don't think that's actually going to be in the cards. I'd love, I'd love to. I'd love to actually finish it up this week, but uh, I won't be. But uh, yeah, how's your, how was your night? How was your, what was this Tuesday there for you now? How was, uh, how was your Monday? Hope you had a fine weekend as well. Turn up to man. Actually, I remember already clearing this out. 
Actually, let me see. Third level, first level, senior mage quarters. Where's the grand staircase? Me, good night, lol. It's 1 a.m. Is it really 1 a.m. for you, Gib? I didn't realize you were East Coast. That's crazy. Appreciate you being here, though, dude. What time, what time is it your time? I know you said it's morning, but, like, uh, what time actually is it in Sweden? Over there, Zhajian. That's right, you're New York. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. Ignore me. I'm just a doofus. Nothing to see here. Type of thing. Is this the Great Hall? No, this is senior mage quarters. Well, I've been burned. Uh, I'm always tired. Oh, that sucks, dude. Uh, I still work. The inflation is killing me. Yeah. You can only buy three food three or four uh, weeks of the month. Damn, that sucks, man. Ah, that, that really sucks, dude. Seven thirty six AM. Wow. That's early for you. Well, I'm hoping I can at least uh lighten your lighten your morning for you. Entertain you a little bit. Even though I'm just wandering around a hallway in the circle of mages. But you know, it is what it is. Still I survive somehow. Well I'm glad you're surviving, dude. Very glad you're surviving. That's right, there was a big fight here. That. Also, just kind of coming here to see if there's any other loot that I left behind. Or anything that I didn't see. Such as this. Huzzah! Trying to actually just claim the planetary core flipped in 2012. You see that ridiculous study? Maybe New York was moved to West Coast in that process. Wink, wink. <laughs> I did not hear about that. That's actually, uh, that's kind of crazy. I had no idea. Okay, enough of my stuff. Hey, no, you are perfectly fine, Jajian. You are perfectly fine. I remember, this was a hell of a fight. Uh, was oh, there is something here that I did not see. A statue. And then... <gasps> Tell me this is the Great Hall. Yes! Okay, we found it. We have found it. Okay, starts in the Great Hall. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Uh, I was really unable to complete his own attempt. Okay, uh, well, let's see what I can find. Not that one. What's this one? Yeah, it's Gant. There we go. Oh, yeah, China claiming the planetary core flipped in 2012. I think it was all over the news. Like, was it, like, it was recently in the news? I don't remember hearing about this at all. First spinning core recently paused, then flipped. How could you possibly know this? How in any way, shape, and form could anybody possibly know this? This game is lovely, by the way. It is a lovely game. I, I, I've i really been enjoying it. Um, we, we've we actually already gone through the Circle of Mages. Uh, we've done the Circle of Magi. Uh, we've already gone through and saved Arleman at uh, Redcliffe Castle. 
we got the Urn of Sacred Ashes. Um, we've just finished up the Dalish quest line, so they are now safe from the Werewolf Curse. And now it's a matter of, do I go to Orzammar, which I'm actually not quite sure how to get there, and uh, try to essentially confront... Because I'm playing as a dwarf, right? I'm playing as Dwarf Nobility. Um, so it's either that, or I go to Denerim and do a whole bunch of quests there, which I th think... I don't know for sure, but I think uh, that deals with the whole Civil War stuff and kind of sets Alistair up on the throne. Think being the keyword. I know that's the plan. The plan is to set Alistair up on the throne as the true king of Ferelden. And then... Yes, Dwarf Warrior, correct. Sword Shield Man, Bash Bashy. My question would be, how did nothing happen above if uh, everything below is flipped? Uh, like one would think we would have seen earthquakes on a scale never seen before. Correct. Absolutely 100% correct. How in the world does... Can, can one assume that the... Uh, 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 like, if, if, if that flipped, right? If the inner core flipped, then why, like, there would be some massive, you know, actual, uh, consequences because of it. What class? Uh, so I, my special class is, I believe I went with champion, if I remember correctly. Here, wait, like, why can't I? No, I don't care about that. Let me look at my class stuff, damn it. So essentially, I'm a champion, uh, which apparently champion gives, it's, it's essentially, I was able to get it after saving Arl Eamon, and so the option to become a champion was available. I could have gone Templar, uh, I could have gone... In fact, I think I still can go Berserker if I if I get another level up. Uh, but I decided to go Champion and mainly focus Champion. Uh, what it does? You know, As in, you know what it does, or what does it do? Uh, like, a lot of it seems to be... Uh, debuffs on enemies. So, like, there's a... There's a Warcry talent. Uh... Yeah, there's a Warcry talent that essentially stuns enemies around you, and then there's also a Rally uh, ability as well that uh, essentially gives a, a, a buff to all of, all of the parties that are actually in... Uh, all the people in your party. So it's 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 like a weird... It's, it's, it's essentially a leader slash uh, uh, essentially battlefield hero type, where essentially you can do these sorts of things that cause debuffs to your enemies and buffs to your friends. It's different than a bard um, in that it, it is certainly more battle-oriented, so. It's a support tank, uh, the champion. Yes, yes, th that's exactly correct. And seeing as I'm I'm playing sword and shield, which is supposed to be kind of tanky as it is, which it kind of is. It's not my favorite, but it kind of is. Um, and... To be honest, like I'm, uh, like my character is normally the last to die whenever we do die, so kind of useful. That's why that's why I do like running around with uh, the Liana and win their great buffs, and then have a second warrior of some kind. Or in this case, I got my war dog with me right now, so. The Ravager. I don't know if I have that as an option. I know there's a Berserker, but I don't know if that's the same thing. It might be. I don't know. Uh, I I don't know, to be honest. I'm trying to remember what I did here. Uh, I'm going to go all the way down here. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Vessel in hand. Words from another drip so bowl. Sword lower to strike through the ground. Sword raised. 
Okay, so sword. Okay, so bowl, sword raised, sword lowered, and then threads placed before a warrior. Spear raised, shielded from each side. Whispers are known. F okay, okay, okay. So bowl, sword up, sword down. There we go. So there's bowl. Sword up. Special class you got from Dark Spawns. Ooh, I did not know that. Oh, that makes sense, though. Yeah, I remember seeing the Ravagers uh, regularly, so that actually makes a lot of sense. Okay, so I've done. I've done it. What now? Uh, we know that the magnetic poles flipped. We know when that happens, it's planetary disaster. It causes... Oh, we know that when the magnetic poles flipped, we know that that's planetary. It causes disaster. It causes the Earth to go crazy. Volcanic activity, earthquakes, and so on. Uh, but not when the core flips? Right, right, exactly. I would think the core flipping would cause some sort of magnetic flipping like that. That's weird. It's a special class you got from the Dark Spawns. It's hard to unlock, but it's powerful. Really? Oh, that's cool. It's very cool. The threads placed before a warrior. Spear raised, shielded from each side. So whispers are known false. Where is this? Shielded on each side. Weird. How have they not actually cleared this place out, man? Okay, the Swede must work. I smell you later. <laughs> smell, you. smell you some other time. Hey, thank you so much for being here, Jaijin. I really do appreciate it. Have a great day. Uh, have a good day at work. And I will uh, catch you around another time, man. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, by the way, Jaijin, if you... So, I've, if you want to see how I got started, I know you had to run off to work. I don't know if you're still here or not. Go check out the YouTube channel. The YouTube channel has all the VODs there. Uh, and... They are timestamped, so you can actually uh, you can actually go through and watch them how you want. So, if you want to if you want to see what I did, you can go check that out there. But have a great day, man, and uh, hope hope you have a good one. Hope you have a fine day at work and get back to work, go get back home safely and whatnot. Oh, the spear raised on all sides. That's what it is. It's gotta be here. Wait, so what did that do? What did that actually do? I'm confused. And this place is creepy as fuck. So did that? A low rumble signals the lowering of the ancient protections. Something is free in the lowest levels of the tower. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Something is open down below. Probably a horror of some kind. What have I unleashed on the tower of mages? Is the real question. Okay, we gotta run. We gotta run all the way back. Here we go. 
Downstairs, number one, second floor. Downstairs to the second floor. I'm curious if I can open this door. Yay or nay? That is nay. Okay, we go down. I do want to save right here. Again, I don't want to uh, lose any progress. And I feel like I've probably unleashed something horrible. We're going to keep going. They don't care. And they don't care either. Okay, so that's good. We're going to go ahead and save. The question is, where, where am I supposed to go? I would think this would be... But... What the... Go ahead and hit it with uh, overpower. There we go. What did he drop? Some Viridium chainmail. Nothing that I actually really need right now. I'm gonna take that. Pile of rags. Ooh, that's cool. That's cool. Yes, I will take all. Thank you very much. Sirs the Dragon Slayer. Interesting. Okay. Of which I will be more than happy to. Uh... Oh, it's two handed. So I gotta give this to. Uh, what's his name? But still, that's kind of cool. Okay. I can give that to... I can give that to Sten. That would actually be kind of perfect for him. So... Wait, so what does this mean? Do, is that it? I think that is it. Oh, yeah. Yep, that is it. Awesome. So we are actually now technically done here. We don't need to be here any longer. So I'm going to go ahead and run they out. Say the Mabari is clever enough to speak and wise enough to know not to. Yeah. Tell me, my friend, does this saying apply to you? Are you capable of speech and simply choose not to speak? He wags his tail. <laughs> it's funny. I always like. That's the one thing I actually really like about. Uh... Sometimes I think the world would be a much friendlier place if we could learn some things from animals. Nothing in the animal kingdom can match the worst qualities of humanity. Some truth to that. Um, but yeah, this is the one thing that I, that I do love about Bioware games. Just just the fact that you can set up companions to be to be with you, and then they will have their own sort of like discussion offhand while you're walking around and exploring stuff. So it, it keeps things interesting. It's the first time, however, like, I'm surprised there hasn't been more conversations, but, hey, it's interesting. I'm curious if the first enchanter has anything to say about what we've just done. Welcome back, friend. You'll be glad to learn that the circle is well on its way to recovery. Yeah, that's all, that's all he's got to say. Well, forgive me, but I must take my leave. I wish you well. No, you will always be welcome here. Thank you. Talk to him again. My men have scouted the tower. It's a mess, but the abominations are gone. Correct. You are very thorough. I'm yes, impressed. Yes, indeed. Well, all is well, but I'm afraid I can't stay. I shan't keep you then. Farewell. Farewell. Yep, that's it. Okay. Let's save. 
And while I didn't quite get nearly as much done as I would have liked, I got those three quests done. And as far as I'm aware, I don't need to do anything else here in uh, the Circle of Mages, Magi, or whatever, whatever the hell they're called. So now the question is... And maybe I'll ask this in the Discord. Um, but the next... I've got two options I can do. I can either go to Denerim, or I can go to... Uh, uh, what's it called? Orzammar. And go deal with the dwarves. I'm leaning Orzammar, but uh, we'll see. Discord pull. Yes. Yes, that'll be... Probably it. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, speaking of which, if you guys aren't already in the Discord, go check it out. There you go. Um, but I think I do need to call it there. Uh, it would be nice to get a little bit more of an earlier night. Normally I go for another 20 or 30 minutes. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. In the meantime... Appreciate everybody being here. Thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, thanks for keeping me company while I play through this amazing game. And, uh, man. Did I get the save? I did get the save here, so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, let's just go ahead and exit out to the main menu again. Um, yeah. So far we played Dragon Age Origins. Last week we beat uh, Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. And with that completed, and with us getting relatively close to being done with Dragon Age, uh, I'm going to start playing some Red Dead Redemption 2. And I'm going to be sw swapping back and forth. So this week we're doing Dragon Age Origins. Next week we'll be doing uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. And then we'll be swapping it every week uh, back and forth between the two until I actually finish Dragon Age. Um, yeah. So as I said, didn't really get a lot done today, but... Uh, I mean, we got some side quests done, and we did, uh, did actually make sure that we got the Dalish completed. So, Dalish is all taken care of, uh, and at this point it's either we go to Denerim and deal with setting up, uh, Alistair as the new king of Ferelden, because that, I think, is the best plan. And then the other option is, uh, going to Orzammar to try and convince the dwarves to, uh, help us out as well as to uh, confront my brother, Balin, who, ha who murdered my other brother and framed me for it, which got me exiled in the first place. So we shall see what happens, but uh, yeah. As I said, I appreciate you guys all being here. Thank you guys to everybody that's been here in the chat. Uh, tune to key. The Nunu, Gib Javelin, Norway Pete, and Jaijin. Thank you guys all so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Uh, enjoy your evening. We'll see you next time. Hey, have a great night, Gib Javelin. Thank you so much for being here. And Emerald Fork. Emerald Fork. Pulling it out of nowhere. <laughs> Pulling an early morning. Come and say goodbye right as I'm heading off. I'm sorry, Emerald, but uh, thank you so much for being here. Really do appreciate it. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed the stream, please consider hitting that follow button. And if you guys would like to see when I go live... Uh, oh gosh, wrong keyboard. Twitter, Discord, and the Gilded are the three best places for it. Uh, and I'll always announce in these three places whenever I, I go live. And then the Discord... Oh, sorry, let's start with this. The Gilded has a monthly schedule which I try to update every month. Uh, and the Discord has a weekly schedule that I try to update that will mirror the... Uh, the Gilded schedule as well, so be sure to check that out. Also, uh, if you have missed out on any of the streams, please go check out the VODs. I've got the YouTube channel uh, where I've been storing all of my VODs, and uh, it is worth checking out if you would like to watch and see how we got started with this Dragon Age playthrough. I also have a whole bunch of older VODs as well on there, but I mean, just recently I've been trying to put everything up there as soon as possible. So please go check it out. Everything's also time stepped on time-stamped on said VODs, so you can kind of go through and see the different sections of the game as I was uh, working my way through it. So, please go check those out. Anyway, guys, uh, I will be back tomorrow with some more Dragon Age Origins. Uh, be sure to keep an eye out on the Discord for the poll for what we'll be doing next, and uh, in terms of going for uh, the Dwarves or going to Denerim. So, 
Anyway, guys, have a great and wonderful night. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Uh, but until then, this is Green Leader signing out.